everybody today in this video I am going to read the story Rip Van Winkle so let's start it once upon a time there lived a man named Rip Van Winkle with his wife Mrs. Van Winkle in a village in the foothills of the Catskill mountain of America his wife was forever nagging him for Rip being a good-hearted and generous man was always ready to lend a helping hand to his neighbors. In fact, he was always found to be doing anyone else's work except his own. His wife didn't like it. She would nag at him all day long. Rip, if you're not too busy varnishing Mrs. Green's fence today, you can mend the holes in the shed. Instead of helping to burn the ra farmer's rubbish, you can feed the chicken and milk the cow, she would say. Then, if you could spare some more time for building Aaron Jacob's wool, there's our potato to dig up and our wagon to be washed down, and gutters to be cleared out and yard to be swept. And it was the same old thing every single day. Sometimes, Rip Van Winkle would disappear with his faithful dog, Wolf, and shoulder his gun and walk away from his wife. He would take a long stroll along the mountain side, along the river, and through the pine forest until his wife's scream had faded away. The only sound he could hear then were of the birds twittering, the rustle of the trees in the breeze and wolves fans. He had to pay when he finally went home, but the few stolen hours of silence were always worth it for him. On such afternoon, as he rested in the shade of the tree with his faithful companion Wolf, he heard his name being called Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle. The voice called urgently. The wolf growled at the direction of the voice, and Rip noticed that several feet away from him, a tiny green feather seemed to be trapped under the weight of the banner. Looking closely, he noticed it was a tiny dwarf who had been propped in the weight of the barrel. He was trying to carry up the mountain. Being the kind who always helped people, Rip jumped up and freed the dwarf from under the weight of the banner. Thank you, Rip, he said. Come with me now. Then he pulled the barrel and Rip along with it, a boat to the mountain. After an hour of trekking, the dwarf led Rip straight through a thundering waterfall, through a hidden door and into an enormous caravan. Dwarves were swarming everywhere. Some were dressed in aprons, pouring endless tankard, tankards of beer out of the big kegs. A keg much like one rip had helped the dwarf who carry up the mountain. This was part one of the story Rip Van Winkle. To watch part two, consider subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Bye bye, see you in the next video of Rip Van Winkle part two. Thank you.